British Columbia is home to some of the most diverse agricultural products in Canada. From the traditional family farm to vineyards or fisheries, if you're into eating local foods, you're in luck. I'm Laurie Petrick, dietitian and local food lover. Join me as I visit BC food producers and farmers who are committed to providing fresh local foods that are good for you and good for our earth. I love growing my own food, and British Columbia is a great place to garden. However, come winter, no matter how much of a green thumb I am, growing my own greens can be more than just a little challenging. A new vertical farming company in Vancouver, called A Local Garden, is successfully growing their greens during the rainy winter season. I asked Local Garden's strategic manager, Donovan Wollard, to show me around. We're in downtown Vancouver. We are. Richard Street Parkade. Uh -huh. How did you end up here? So we're on a city-owned parkade. And what has happened over the course of the last few years with a lot of people just moving into the downtown core and taking their bikes and walking to work and taking transit is that the city is not getting nearly the revenues from its parking properties that it used to. You know, that mashed nicely with, with our need, which was to locate our first verticrop installation uh, and wanted to do it right in the downtown core to show that you know, you can be really innovative. You can grow food in many different places. Inside this greenhouse, we have our verticrop system, which consists of 3,000 of these growing trays. And they're stacked 12 high. And then the other unique feature, as you see, is that they're on a conveyor, which most of the time is moving. And so the reason to have your crop moving is that it evens out the access to the natural light, to the heat, to the carbon dioxide. It also allows you to irrigate from one point and to harvest from one point. All the crop that we're growing in here is primarily replacing crop that would be coming from California, Mexico, and these kinds of places that are 2,000 kilometers away or more. We want uh, the solution which we offer, which is more local, low carbon food, uh, and so it just seemed like the obvious place to start. What is your carbon footprint compared to traditional farming or a farm in California? Are we actually producing less carbon with you know, an operation like this? All of that shipping is twice our total carbon footprint. Uh, just the transportation alone. So that's a big chunk which is gone. Plus, the way that we grow is, is very high density. We produce 10 times more food than an equivalent size farm and we use 10 times less water. You know, all of the water is contained and cascades down through the trays and then is collected in our troughs, gets recirculated and purified and then gets pumped back in. So as a result, um, you know, water basically leaves here in the body of a plant. So you don't have the runoff of your fertilizer Exactly. Everything that we use is contained and recirculated, so there's no water table uh, contamination or pollution. Today is harvest day. That's right. How often do you harvest the plants? Uh, right now we're harvesting five days a week. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a continuous flow, so it's, it's 20 days on the racks. As a tray comes off, a, new, a fresh tray goes on, and then 20 days later that becomes you know, that day's harvest. So I see on the side it actually has date picked on and yeah. best before date. Yeah, so it has the date that's picked so that you as a consumer know that, okay, this is, this is actually where it came off the rooftop and this is how long it can stay in my fridge. And hopefully it'll be you know, eaten way before that because it's, uh, it's pretty tasty stuff. Fresh salad greens contain a variety of valuable nutrients such as folate and vitamins A, C, and K. Nutrient levels do start to diminish within days of being harvested though, so don't make your greens wait around in the fridge before adding this healthy addition to your meal. Chefs and restaurants are really driving you know, the, the cutting edge in terms of different varietals as well as you know, really, really fresh. And, you know, we fit nicely into that story. Great example is, is Trevor Berg from Fable, who has a you know, farm-to-table concept restaurant in Kitsilano that is, is all about you know, getting the maximum yield out of local food and just doing amazing things with it. We've specifically focused on uh, restaurants in the downtown area or close to it, and that allows us to do these deliveries by uh, bike courier. Again, just as part of our overall concept, uh, we're reducing our fossil fuel and reducing our, our impact. You, know, you don't have to have this trade-off of local versus uh, environment, and we try to embody that across not just the way that we grow, but the way that we're growing as a company. It looks kind of high tech, but you know, compared to what's going on at the microscopic level in so much of the food we eat, you know, this, is, this is old school. Farms using alternative growing systems such as this cannot legally label their produce as certified organic. However, they do try to maintain some of the same health and environmental principles that certified organic producers provide. 
For Farm Folk City Folk TV, I'm Lori, and this has been Good For You and Good For Our Earth. Mm -hmm.